We got the juicy prime <laughs> rib with the bone in. Well done. Reason why I'm wearing the shirt. You know what I'm saying? Black Panthers. Well <laughs> We're not doing that. Black Panther Party. Black Panther Party. <laughs> Black Panther Party. What is this? We this got is, uh, the Judas and the Black Messiah. I am a revolutionary. <laughs> <laughs> no, I a lot of great things. A lot oh, of great I'm things okay. to talk about this movie. So Yeah, I have some good stuff for this one. And I'm not trying to foreshadow like my rating. Because I'm still figuring my rating out now as I'm going to go through this. <laughs> What's the ratings that they've given it so far? 98% we have a on? 7.9 out of 10 on IMDb. It's highly rated. Let's see Rotten Tomatoes good, yeah, out of curiosity. Yeah. It's highly rated. It's a, it's a 98 on Rotten Tomatoes. Really? 98? Yeah. Is that critics or is that... That's critics. It's always going to be critics. They don't do, the users is in there, but... I saw something and it was promoted it fresh. Yeah, the audience did it Oh, yeah. So it's it so 96. Uh, that's, uh, that's no, a, man. It, that's, it was... That's crazy. It was very good, though. Then American Scan got like twenty percent or something. It was only was that low, but yeah, it was low. So there's so many things that I, I want to talk about on this movie. Uh, I want to talk about the climate of society now. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about the movie. So right. let's just talk about the movie first. Judas and the Black Messiah. Uh, we got Lakeith Stanfield playing the worker, Bill O'Neill, and then we got uh, what's his name, Daniel. Kalu, what's his name? Kalua. Pull it up, uh, it Matt. Daniel Pretty Kalua. sure it's Kalua. Yeah, Daniel Kalua. Who? What do we got? The cast yep, there he is, is Daniel Kaluuya. Kaluuya. Yeah, Kaluuya. Yeah. Um, young man from the UK played in Get Out. Played yep. in. He played in Black Panther too. Yeah, he was in Black Panther. Small role in Black Panther. Small role in uh, Black Mirror episode. Jesse Plemons, you know the the big the big time weirdo and everything he does. Yeah, Jesse. I the, know uh, I know him foremost from uh, Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. Yeah. I know him from like Mike most. The Matt Damon uh, doppelganger. Like Mike. Exactly. <laughs> like the <laughs> fucked up twins. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I don't <laughs> know if did y'all did y'all notice. Oh, they, oh, really? Yeah. Did y'all notice Martin Sheen was in there playing J. Edgar Hoover? I did not. <laughs> yeah, the fuck he, he I didn't, he, he I didn't, didn't know who it was. Bro, yeah, like, like 50 I, I, pounds of I was of like, hold up, is that, uh, is that Emilio now, Estevez? Now now you <laughs> Emilio! <laughs> now that you say that, I can, I can see it, but I, I didn't peeped know. It. But uh, another dude I wanted to bring up that was in the movie who had a decent little role is Ashton Sanders. Uh, he played fucking RZA in the you know, oh, Wu-Tang right. show. He, he played in the Moonlight, you know what I'm saying? The main character in the Moonlight. Oh, wow. That was he had another too. little Netflix movie that came out. I'm a kind of a fan of his acting, but yeah, he's, he's definitely like a similar character in every sh sh thing he plays. I mean, he's just doing a lot that, of black. That introverted weirdo. Yeah, you know black what I'm roles, heavy black roles, which is I respect. But, um, so yeah, obviously we're looking at a biopic somewhat of Chairman. Fred Hampton. Fred Hampton, yeah, from Chicago. Illinois, Black mm -hmm. Panther Party. Yep, yep, yep. And out the gate, I love the first scene when they show him just leaned up in the chair with his little mm -hmm. LL Cool J hat on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> leaned on him, you know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, the swagger, the swagger. Leaned on him. That's the thing about this movie, like. Big swag. This is might be i don't know if this is controversial was the black swagger the highest in the 70s though but this was the 60s 60s right right which is the set you know which is was the it the late 60s, 60s. Cause it was late 60s, well, 60s, late 60s. It? It was yeah late which 60s, which yeah. people consider the 70s or whatever right. that late 60s because once you get, actually get into the 70s it's more like disco era but yeah like the swagger is i don't the move i'm watching the movie i'm like swagger in the black community it might be like at its maximum at this point well, the thing that people I think fail to realize is this: Fred Hampton was just a swag. He was he had he was the complete whole package to everybody he presented it to. So right. Like, I like I like him like studying at a too. twenty year old at a as a twenty one year old man. Same time. Yeah, he was young. Oh, he was twenty one. He was twenty one. Wow. Yeah. That's the thing, man. That's another thing, man. Like especially the, the like the correlation between like then and now, like the young people back in the day. I don't, I don't know, like, that they heavy do, they thinkers, grew, they heavy, grew up, they had to grow a little bit faster. Yeah, like, faster. And like, they have to do that in Chicago anyways. Yeah, true. <laughs> but true. before we get to the climates and the social and society and all that, 
let's talk about the movie. Mm -hmm. um, Ryan Coogler is involved in it. Shaka King is the producer. I, I watched the interview on him. He's very on his pro black shit. Give a fuck about Hollywood type shit. For sure. Um, so it was it was good, and we're definitely gonna have to talk about Lakeith Stanfield's role, which I have pretty you know I'm I, I'm satisfied with it, but he definitely steps up out of bounds a couple things where as far as the character or his, his acting okay his acting um but I gotta say Daniel Kaluuya did a good really job good. really good really on, really good on Fred Hampton now he I felt like he went a little overboard on the accent but he's from <laughs> London. Cause he don't sound exactly like Fred Hampton. He sounds more like his son to me. If you oh, heard his son talk on the soundtrack, yeah, that's interesting. He sounds a little bit more like his son, but uh, the way they shot this too, like the big scenes. Remember when he gets out of jail and he's walking up the steps mm -hmm. uh, to to say his speech again? Like just that scene. It like this his moments felt so like, like heavy. It felt like Jay Z and a motherfucking. It, dope ass music video mm -hmm. every scene you know mm -hmm. what i mean like boss 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 you know what i mean and uh i appreciated how they built fred hampton because fred hampton definitely not amongst black people but definitely gets overlooked in history yeah i, I was loosely aware of him as well because of that um i don't know why that is he, he was young. His yeah. his time was short uh, as far as what he was doing. It was yeah. like a couple year span of where he was really on the radar. Radar, right? Maybe a year, maybe right. two. You they know stomped I mean? it out pretty quick. Yeah, apparently. he never built that like super <laughs> big national he, machine. And I was saying this to Matt. Mm -hmm. I feel like they made a point to really get at the way because he, you know, we all know the story of Fred Hampton. He definitely got assassinated. Mm -hmm. They made a point to get rid of him because I I do feel like very blatant. I feel like he was probably a bigger threat in the as a, a member of the Black Panther Party than any other member it's in the, the Black Party. That's Black what Panther I was going to say. It's the speaking, like his speaking. The his, words carry people, and like he, his I, speaking and his organizing. Yeah, I love. That's another thing I really love. Like that we don't also get in this era like this era is so divisive and like you're here you're here and we're here like when we don't like this shit like he was like i'm gonna go to the crowns i'm gonna talk to them i don't even care if they come at me with energy i'm still gonna talk to them yeah, we're gonna was, work it was, out he was i'm fearless. gonna talk to the white the 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 the, the lower class the, the like white because like, i see like we're still in the same we're all gonna be in the gonna, same gonna talk to puerto ricans i'm gonna talk mm -hmm. to the puerto ricans so i did a, i did a little bit of research uh on the film and uh so like how they met the young patriots was a little different than what they had in the movie and the crowns is is the young patriots the, the, the white the, the white group yeah, yeah. okay and the I crowns know. were uh like a chicago gang basically the black stones yeah. um yeah. i think they mentioned the stones in the movies but the basically that whole thing with the with the fbi forging that letter to make it seem like they were oh, that, yeah. trying to shit on them mm -hmm. um that was like jeff ford in the uh in the Blackstones, basically, but they got through that. Um, but yeah, man, I thought the movie was shot very well. Mm -hmm. It was tough for me for this movie because I knew the outcome already. Right, right. So it, especially when you're seeing him on his journey and like you're seeing him like link up the connections between everybody and like you're yep. like, yo, man. But the what, what what we didn't know so well, and I thought was a good idea on their part mm -hmm. was the Bill O'Neill aspect of it. You know the the young kid that infiltrates <coughs> the Panther Party and the bitch nigga. Yeah, it's you know for <laughs> for the really FBI. Unfortunate. Yeah, it's tough. You know, there but there's people like that. Yeah, and, absolutely. But I think that's a good side of the story because it gives people that know the story something else to dive into. Right, you know I mean? right. Like okay, we see what he's on. So that was interesting to me because I had I had heard Fred's Hampton story time and time over again. Mm -hmm. You know, he mm -hmm. definitely was probably one of my favorite people within the black panther whole their whole life organization you know what i'm yeah. saying their whole mm -hmm. lifespan of them mm -hmm. um so i love the movie i love the way they shot it um it felt like the 60s um it yep. did dude was getting his act on lakeith i think lakeith did a good he job, did a good especially job. At the intro he had a couple moments where he was getting a little hype uh, he said a few um, extra things that didn't need. Damn to be it, there. motherfucker, nigga, killer. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> just God damn it. 
I think, but, but it, I think it's that's not Lakeith. Lakeith is a weirdo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right, and he is a weirdo. But I think that character was trying to, like, um, you know, put on in front of everybody to make it seem Definitely. like he, like, no, no, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I'm right. gonna put I, on I, I more. I'm just saying because he was acting in the movies. So yeah, he was, he was acting, acting like somebody as who an was actor. Acting, Thank right. you. Yeah. Like, so that's that. But there were some moments where he was by himself too, where he, he got it. Did yeah. a little too much. What was it when he was in the car? What was it? No, he was yeah, walking to the, car, to the car, and he was like, yeah. "Motherfucker!" And oh, oh, by himself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He didn't need to do that. So I mean, it could be just the also couple just the couple vibe. unnecessary motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? But it's the seventies, yeah. But other than that, I felt like he was. I feel like Lakeith is a good actor, man. He, he's really he's working, man. He's really. He working. can keep. I think, oh boy, I acted him for sure. Daniel, yeah, Daniel. I mean, great. he's just. Yeah, he, I think I, he's, he's. He's so low key though, like not low key, but he. Um, I, I've been a. It's funny because he only done a few things that I have seen, but I was just a fan of him anyway. I was like, yeah, he's, he's good, like. He uh he can get that emotion out when he needs to. Yeah, he can act. I, I think yeah. the emotion ra- emotional range for this role was not you know they didn't ask a ton of them other than being able to speak and captivate while speaking which i think he did a good job he did a job. great job with that um, I, yeah, he, and portraying a leader that is fred hampton yeah. portraying that fearlessness portraying like he the swagger the like cause you were about. Of the only thing that matters to him and he's and he was definitely willing knowingly willing and prepared to die for it i right. also mm-hmm. liked how they didn't make it seem like one side is good and this side is just thank you evil. that's what i'm saying oh, definitely yeah, yeah. they so added some contradictory to to what he was doing when he was like kill all the pigs and then yeah the keep was like oh, you want let's go do this shit and he was like what the fuck you talking about i didn't mean it you right know what I'm I'm saying? Saying i was that. just talking shit that's yeah. energy that's energy for people to rile behind it's it, tough though because you got to watch those type of words mm-hmm. when you're talking to other especially people. to people like that right and mm-hmm. like niggas are still dying that's right. what they'll in hindsight it. it makes me think like damn you were so smart to be able to get rally all these people but you wasn't it's almost like he wanted to die it's like you wasn't smart enough to be understanding knowing that they these people are gonna try to kill you yeah get rid of you incarcerate you yeah like if you're smart Maybe enough to, to do all thing. that, you know what I'm saying? You should be smart enough to, yeah. to be a couple steps ahead of what they're on. You know what I'm saying? So we it's unfortunate. S- that's wishful thinking. but Right. We were saying he was 21. Maybe it's the age. The, maybe that's Could the, be that. I mean, the weakness. A, that's yeah. it. When he, he had a literal informant in it, riding with him, too, though. I mean, yeah. So I mean, kinda, it's tough to be two steps ahead when they know where you're every move. You're 21, yep. <laughs> and you got a guy in here telling everybody what you're doing. Right. It was cool to see, like, the the other squad members, like Ashton and Jake and all, you know, all these dudes that ended up dying in the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, spoiler. <clears throat> uh, but, uh, you know, it's just to get more context to the story and everything that happened and, and him going to jail and getting out and going back and... Mm-hmm. The one thing that I thought was wild is Lakeith Stanfield as Bill O'Neill, the informant, while he was incarcerated and the and their headquarters was burnt down, mm-hmm. he was the main one in charge of rebuilding the headquarters. So interesting. Right. I thought that was insane. I mean, it's a great... I mean, if you're going to play it... And I got to check the facts on that to see if that's... Yeah, that wasn't... I did a bunch of fact-checking. That wasn't in there. Like, uh, they didn't touch on that. I don't know if you would know that based off of fact book as much as maybe some like v- not written testimonies but like vocal testimonies from people that were yeah, around somebody that the was time. there that helped with like it, yeah you know? he was there and, we, 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 and maybe that's just hollywood doing hollywood like to make it seem like oh he's like really trying to be in in the um added some dramatic liberty yeah yeah situation. which which you know hollywood will do but i thought yeah i just i thought um the acting was really strong I love the um, <clears throat> the energy and the vibe of like the time period too, as we all know. Like you could really see like that's the crazy thing about that time period too. You could really see the people organizing behind the scenes to push back against all the all the all the negative you know American tropes and powers that be. And this character, uh, Fred Hampton. I mean, not even character. This real person, Fred Hampton trying to unite all that in order to push back against the powers mm-hmm. that be like i thought that was dope like we don't we that's the problem with this era like Not good there's no organizing. unity they've done a good job at, at really really dividing us and it's not even yeah, just so a good. race or color thing it's Mm-mm. 
it's a class thing. It's, it's super class. It's what you buy, what you're into. It's yeah, like you know, oh, you don't it's you, a political thing. You yeah, as super, a consumer, yeah, as well. consume. We're we're divided down to what we consume. Basically. Just little Addictions. little words so. like black on black crime. That's yeah, just like yeah, yeah, yeah. just random. Yeah, like, and we don't we don't even yeah. It, so I'm curious, Matt. Growing up, what was your lear- What did you learn about Black Panthers? What was your thought? Like, what what did you think about Black Panthers? I didn't learn anything other than what they taught me in history class, which was what, like a, a week's worth of. Did, yeah. Did we even get taught that shit? Maybe a little yeah, bit. Because Malcolm was, you know, we touched. It, it was Malcolm right around Martin. the same time. Uh, yeah, they touched on Black Panthers. I mean, at least my school did. Yeah. I don't ever remember uh, getting taught about Black outside Panthers. Outside of school, though, have you had you outside never of heard of Black no, Panthers really. from no. any family or just anybody? No. Because my general take from from like my white friends and family um, is that they were learned they they learned or they were educated or taught that the black panthers were basically the black version of the kkk right right and they say that in the movie too yeah no i was never taught that so i that's a common theme one of the things that is very it's emotional and it's exciting for me cuz i've been on the i've been studying the black panthers and when you're black or you have some black in you you're drawn to that type of shit you know what i mean you just you just want to you want to know these things mm-hmm. and at the time when i was first diving into it the climate still on the black panther even though people are educated even though we hindsight yeah, you know people what I'm are saying? partly educated uh, partly there was still a, a a large level of ignorance about what the black panther party really was mm-hmm. and were they perfect no a no, lot of, of these not. people were young too they had you know it yeah I mean? no th- i know what you mean though because they had a reputation uh when you did start to dive into it or whatever that they were uh cop killers they did things the wrong way yeah anti-cops it was like, it was like it, you are you're always kind of taught martin luther king is tried the, to do it the right way right and then everything black else Panthers and malcolm x did it the wrong way they did it like they hated white people they did it right yeah, yeah they hated white people. They yeah, they white were, white. yeah so you know and what doesn't get talked about is the struggles that they had like there was times when the black panther party wasn't even on no defense shit it was strictly their breakfast program you know what i mean so like this is what i'm saying like they were helping the community like that's what another thing i liked learning about in the film because i haven't really i didn't dig into the black panther panther party deeply enough yet but watching some of this like i loved they were really on some like real black empowerment like what we start to hear about now this black empowerment black like wealth education education like like, that's really important you know what i mean they just you know they were trying to fight for like equal chance they're legitimately trying to fight for the things that are still issues today right like let's bring everybody that's at a low lower state up like Mm -hmm. by By doing the basic things you know what i mean knowledge basic things so communistish style yeah. And this is the and thing, the, and that that's, a that's a whole nother. That's a whole nother topic. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, we topic, get to yeah. talking about yeah. capitalism, capitalism versus communism, communism versus yeah. fascism versus socialism, right. like patriotism and shit. Th- these are yeah. these are lines that I think a lot of the basic things that were happening get lost in. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm just excited that I feel like people are getting the education on the Black Panther Party, and what this movie did that was well was show, like you said. There were some contradictions, you know. There was some language that they used that, that, you know, the media got to run with and and, and paint them as the villains, you right. know. So overall, I think people are going to learn that they the the intentions were pure and they were good, and you know they just weren't. It's not smart perfect. enough to stay ahead of J. Edgar. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah. they wanted him gone, and they couldn't. And you gotta look at it from the country's perspective. Like, damn, these people are gonna try to overthrow the government. I mean, think. I mean, that's I mean? that's the fear. The fear is like this, 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 uh, like um, this uh, uprising slash like uh, little guy versus the big guy. This is gonna swallow us if we just let it rock. So they are like just start stomping this. Just start stomping. We're pretty it out. much every fucking black leader. Yeah, just start stomping it out. Because once the people realize how to do something they're in their de- favor. They're not dependent. They're yeah, not, they, you know they lose the power. The system power. stops working. So, and that's just not how capitalism works. So. Yeah. So. I would say that uh, another thing I found very, very interesting was just, again, with the education and what we're learning about these events. Mm-hmm. 
for years, and I mean up until 2011, when they had just came out, Leonardo DiCaprio starring as J. Edgar Hoover, painted as a hero oh, in the I movie. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I didn't think he, about that. J. Edgar Hoover has been a hero to America. Yeah, sure, I didn't think about that. Yeah. But black America has seen him to be a villain this entire time. Right. But now he's starting to, in the mainstream media, mm -hmm. this is now the second or third movie I've seen now, Okay. where J. Edgar Hoover is being painted as the villain. I think it's good to have, um, you know, because nobody's black or wh white as far as not racially, but um, decision making, I guess. So it's nice to have um, that juxtaposition, like, between both sides. So, like, you see, like, oh, I don't know. I don't know enough about J. J. Edgar Hoover to know like what his positives were for America, but obviously we see a lot of the the negative. Effects. I mean, he literally put hits. You know what I'm saying? He yeah, literally he put hits on people. Yeah, he, he literally got. He literally put the very order mobbish. to to lock up and assassinate. He did some mob shit. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, very mob. Yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> I'm not. A, I never was a J. Edgar Hoover fan. You know, I don't, I mean? I don't he probably know, yeah. did some things for America very early in the day. Maybe. You know yeah, I mean? I mean, he started the FBI, and he, you know, they had. That's cool. He's not an all negative guy. Of but, course, of but, course. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. Like, it's not black and white, but yeah, and even if the, even the FBI's thing is. But in this sketchy. sense, it's hard to root for him, especially for me, because it's no, like on this movie, you you're this sure. great, you're this yeah. great hero. Before this movie, even in documentaries, oh, that I, I see. see. No, okay. Oh, I see. Like I, I never had a a good thought of J. Edgar Hoover. Never. That's, that's fair. And in this movie, the fact that they're getting, we got a, a Rotten Tomatoes rated ninety six, heavily promoted, HBO Max theaters mm -hmm. movie, mm -hmm. that's getting a, a ton of you know what I'm saying love right now. Which as J. Like Edgar Hoover as the villain just shows us that capitalism mm -hmm. they're willing to get behind whatever sells and it doesn't matter Hollywood no. they're willing to get behind whatever makes whatever money works. what's hot right now mm -hmm. we know what's hot right now is black activism black progression is hot mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. the ticket right now yep you're true and uh that's that's great for right now that's great for us and mm -hmm. that's hopefully we can educate and advance mm -hmm. But uh, it's just very funny to see how 10 years ago we can drop a Leo, Leo-led movie mm -hmm. as J. Edgar Hoover as the hero. 10 years later, now we got him as the villain in this movie. You know right. what I mean? There's two and sides to that coin, I think. Like There's two sides it's to every good. coin, bro. It's, it's good. It's good. You know? But then it's like, it's okay, too. we're going to get another struggle movie. Right. Like, how many are we going to, how many do we need? So, I mean, but it's good, though. This is good because... But it's like, okay... The only type of movies that make about black people is we're shooting people, mm -hmm. we're in gangs, or we're Slavery doing shit movies. like this. So aside from that, like you said, with the gangs, I thought that was something very interesting about this movie is how they touched on... I feel like in, in more movies need to do this in hip-hop. If This could really break the, the, the uh, crippled black mindset. Mm -hmm. Which is? Showing them how gangs were supposed to be so in the I beginning see. the old style gang there was there yeah, was an yeah. argument in the beginning between him and the crowns which i believe was the blackstones at the time yep. about who's feeding the most children you know what i'm saying i who's, respected that who's like putting that. the most people to work you i know like what I'm that yeah yeah and that's what it should be about you they know had, they were organized yeah. they were so, so organized well, you cannot you, find a especially gang especially when a dude just spoke out of the turn yeah smacked his ass it was, yo you don't speak out of turn it, yeah. it was organized and no you i can it, it'd be very tough to find an organized gang of that many people that was in that there's no right leader there. of no gang you know what they're I mean? just all out here running it's like wild. small subsets I mean, of gangs. yeah i would say because it's so they're so clicked up now it's just like this click here there's still, there's still, there's still yeah. some out there there's still some people running some shit you know what i'm saying but i'm just saying I mean, like, the majority is just all these young people just young running kids. crazy just claiming it's, something yeah yeah, yeah, that's the issue. It's turned into something you know, that I wasn't supposed to. It be got warped. It got warped. In Chicago, got... that's the great thing about Chicago is that Chicago needs to see that more than anybody. Yeah, because you're true. you are true. They need to see this more. They need to see more about how gangs were supposed to be, how they're supposed to. You know, were they perfect in this movie? No, but it's showing you because it's going to give them like also fascination with like gang life. You know what I mean? Yeah. But okay, if you're gonna be fascinated with that, let's 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 show you how what it's meant to be. And I think yeah. that doing that and getting rid of these fucking music videos that's you know 
glorifying like, glorifying mm-hmm. it in the wrong way mm-hmm. you know what i mean no, like, you're right let's let's talk about like responsibility organized shit you know what i mean like i love i love that thing. i love that you brought that up the feeding of the kids thing that that was dope he was like yeah he was like yeah we fed we fed three thousand three there's something like that we fed, bragging we, about we it three thousand yeah. like, kids <laughs> it's like man if we imagine how much kids we could feed if we just united though yeah and he's like think about it i just i I like his I just character. Missed that. They employ they, they that that gang leader g- gets brought up a couple times in the movie, which I thought it's like they're making a point to call out like, all right, this is the gang, the gang's there. They're they're here in attention. Yeah, they're, they're here for the movie. And they didn't you know just I mean? stonewall uh, like Fred. Like they listened to him first of all, without any like negative static or anything it was like, like a, that. It was like a sit down. Yeah, it's like a sit down, and then like as they saw him like moving through the community, like all right. Back him here. Then they help All right, him back him there. Yep. Yeah, so. yeah, I like that. I like that. No, we do, we do need that. So, I don't know. We obviously, I don't know, Matt. If you want to touch on this Bill O'Neill part anymore, I guess his, you know, the I, Judas I, I'm, of I'm, it I'm all. damn near exhausted from what I'm, what I'm <laughs> saying. But, said, yeah. but let's figure out his role, how it ended out, and um, I mean, I, I, I liked it. I, like you said, there was a couple of parts where he overacted a little bit, um. Do but we I mean, feel bad for this character? Do we? I think it was meant to. Uh, this is see the. This is where I don't know. I I, ha- I have a really hard time like judging and scoring movies based on a true story because none of them are like true true. You know, this one's got a lot of true stuff in it, but yeah, it's not you know one hundred percent accurate. Yeah, right, it's got to be yeah. it's got to be Hollywood dramatic liberties. Right, right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know if he legitimately started like in the movie. You know, you could tell he was kind of like buying into the whole Black Panther thing and kind of regretting doing the. I could FBI see somebody thing. who would do that. Like I could see, you get yeah. A gr- a gr- um, um, right. As you get welcomed in and like, mm-hmm. but when you see the real person that he was, you could see he was a shit. Yeah, was I mean, he started. Out that's what like I'm saying. That. Yeah, that's so you kind of like when you see that when you wonder. get to see it at the end of the movie the real. The real Bill O'Neill doing is that. Is that back against the, the wall, only thing, Bill O'Neill, or is that him? Well, I was saying, the only the other fact. thing I would say is that you could tell, you know, that the real one did have an issue with what he did. Because did you, you guys know a story of well, he, he killed, killed himself? himself after, yeah. He killed himself the night that his documentary came out. Yeah. Oh, wow. TV. Yeah. Yeah, he was shamed by it. But that's what happens. Like, when you get. Yeah. You, 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 get, you get brought in by a community. And then they like take care of you and give you responsibility, gives you value, and then you go and turn that value in. And you like lose that you that that piece is lost. Like it, that hurts you. So like I'm sure he was. And when well, I mean, and and when you're seeing you know with your own eyes the issues that they're fighting against. Yeah, you know, and you're like, and, oh snap! Like, actually, he's got, he's got a point. Yeah, you know? and, right. And wasn't the in the film the uh, I forget the the uh, Jesse. Clemens uh, character is that the actor's name? Roy Mitchell. Yeah, uh, Roy Mitchell. Yeah, the FBI it, agent. It, from what I was watching, it seemed like he thought he had an idea of what the party was, and once he started to hear more about what the opposition or like his he had a, was yeah, doing against he him, he kind of looked at like, weird. Like there oh. were a couple scenes that he had, you could tell he like had a heart in. Kind yeah, of he thing. was like the one wait, where uh, just, he's talking to J. Edgar Hoover. Yeah. J. Edgar uh, Hoover is basically game in him in his ear like right. now nah, what about your daughter what are you gonna do when she comes right yep you know and so there's the yeah. there's a scene where they're talking about um uh the the other informant remember that he killed a guy that's the one i was thinking that of. wasn't an informant yeah he's like no he's we, blamed, we put right. that in there like, R- right yeah we just had him kill a <laughs> he's guy like, we're cool. just gonna let him murder people or get away with murder and he was like yeah, that's brilliant now we have something against him right. he's like he's i thought like, they were the kick, kick, kick. Yeah. Right. yeah and he you could tell he was just yeah, like was that's fucked up fighting yeah. dirty you know mm-hmm. what i'm right, saying yeah. so that's how it is anyways so at the end bill o'neill they're all he's done for the party he does what he's supposed to do for the fbi sets up the the uh he writes out a, a a room plan or draws out the room for the blueprint, the, yeah. the blueprint to the room for the agents to come through and and smoke them at the end of the movie, and uh, that's what happens in real life. And mm-hmm. they, let's be real, they put the statement. It's it's a real story. He was probably going to die anyway. 
Yeah, I mean, at probably some point, would have yeah. eventually. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I don't. What, what, what I see what you're saying. You're saying like without the Judas piece, like yeah. he he would have gotten stomped out regardless. I don't know if he. I, it would have been a little tougher. I feel. You like. think to if get they, to him? If they didn't have somebody. Well, like we were saying, yeah. Without the informant, they he they knew his every move because of the informant. Yeah, so without right. that, you're I mean, right. he you're might right. have been you're able right. to be to avoid it at least prolong. You could tell prolong his life and make more of an impact. But you know, at the end of the day, probably would have been the same. He could have been the president of the country, bro. Not with yeah, the socialism no, 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 thing. No, no. Not with the co- sorry, not socialism. Not, <laughs> yes. not, not with the communist <laughs> thing. Like um, America is not rocking. No, I think he was he was more on um, with the socialism. I think. Or, I know, but back then they were so scared of communism. Like they were they were scared of communism. This man said back then, like they're not still. I know they still, they, still, <laughs> they still are terrified, but like back then they were like. Super scared, like because people still Russia. Sing and, it for it, you know? It's because what you taught. That's just yeah. It's Russia and like a bunch of these other that. third, not even third world. They're like thirdish, for, first world countries. <laughs> thirdish, first world. Yeah, thirdish first, first. Thirdish first world <laughs> Usually like countries. Second. Yeah. But I thought that at the end of the movie, like they made a. St- it's a real story that I, I think his wife or or his baby mom or whatever it said that. They they shot him or they, they they was like oh I read that she actually said that happened yeah like at the end where he was like they're oh. like he looks alive still oh bop bop uh, now he's good and dead he's gonna yeah, he's, they said he's gonna I think I think he's gonna make it and then shot yeah him I think again, he's yeah. gonna make it mm-hmm. yeah, don't like so that. they hammered that home yeah, yeah. Don't like do that, that in the movie she said that's what they actually said so so and I believe her yeah that's they painful. went through all that trouble they, there was a video release of them. The F- there's a video FBI of them doing test runs. To of the, the, of they built the, of the apartment. apartment layout. They oh, built wow. the apartment they went to that length. That's crazy. I, it might. It may have been after the fact or before, but yeah, no. they, there's. I saw it in the documentary of the. Uh, yeah. Now that last scene was legit. I I did read that when I was going into fact checking. They they had his baby mom or whatever there, and then his son, who I guess wasn't there, but. The uh, they kind of yeah they they had her like watch the last scene and she was like no nah, that didn't happen this happened instead and they like changed it because oh of that. I like that I like that yeah. okay that's good that's so good. for the most part man she there's gonna be some bias from me I don't know you got something to say go ahead I was say she this is probably most one of the most accurate films because yeah. most accurate based on a true story she was there for the, the family damn was near the whole thing mm-hmm. yeah. that's a so. good point. Um, one one little piece before we get into the ratings, so, so we don't go too long in it. I liked, um, I liked, I liked. Why? Well, since it's so real, I guess I liked the I like the turtles. female. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I like lamb. No, I. Uh, I like the female actress choice for his like, for his yeah. baby oh. mom. Like yeah. I like that they went like. They didn't go typical body type. Yeah, like. they didn't go like super Hollywood with it, like. She's like a real looking like woman, real like, woman. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, like looks a, like somebody you would just see. At exactly, the, like you would hang out and like as the movie was playing, like I didn't know like like before they like become involved. Like, I'm like I'm like oh, okay, this this girl's like, she's kind of like hanging out. Mm-hmm. I'm like oh okay, I see what's going on here. Like oh they're letting okay, this this mm-hmm. I, I like that. I like I like they utilize the. And real. She did a good job too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she did Not a great job. Actor. No, I thought that was nice. I thought that was really nice. Um, they got to do a little bit more of that I think in Hollywood, like. I'm Let down real to s- women and like real people like be like like a, have like a couple like like you know what yeah. I'm saying? Stop painting the picture of Stop what it should be it like, so yeah. or what they want them to be like. Yeah, like oh, it should be this type of lady. This is like, what people like, so let's give them that. Right, exactly. Mm. Versus like this is the reality. This is what people that like. they do. That would help a lot of things too. It would. So. It would. But yeah. Anyway. Um. So I'm gonna be a little bit biased because I love. Fred Hampton's one of my favorite uh, mm-hmm. Black Panther members. Mm-hmm. I, he, I think he may be my favorite. Okay. And that's how it's it's been that way for me. And it just was a lot to do with how young he was and how I, I felt like his impact is, is dope and as heavy as the impact of Huey Newton was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Huey Something was about Fred was just stuck out. It stood out to me a little bit more. I understand that. Um. So I'm a little bit biased. I think we gave the little things a 7.5, if I can remember correctly. Okay. Seven point, right there, yeah. 7.2. Was it a 7.25? 7. 7. I think it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> I'm going to give this one a... Uh, I'm going to... You see the numbers going through his head right now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give the movie an 8. That's my highest rating I've given out 
It is. Give you it said eight's a classic. It's a soft eight for me. I actually thought you would give it. It's a classic. I was thinking you say eight. It is a classic for me. It is a classic for me. Mm-hmm. It's really good. No, it's because really good. Because of how, because of its Fred. Mm-hmm. For mm-hmm. me, that's a big deal. Mm-hmm. Two, another thing that was crazy is me and you were just in Chicago. We was just right, out there. Right, that's the why. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So the fact that we was riding around, we was kind of in the hood. We was, you know, in the in the barrio with the with the Mexican gangs was at and shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like part of that, just being in the hood in Chicago and having our even our little confrontation. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> That 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 does something for me. That yeah. that does something for me emotionally. So I'm gonna give it a soft eight. The acting, everything was on point. It was huge. It was big. They made Fred Hampton big, like he really was. Could they have gone Deserve deeper it. and dealt deeper? Yes, they could have. But I'm gonna give this movie an eight, and that's all I got to say about that. Mm-hmm. What you give it, Mo? Just because of the message and the the rawness of the movie and you know one thing I didn't say was niggas didn't give a fuck back in the day like they'll have whole shootouts with the police and not which care. is wild right yeah yeah, yeah. it's crazy to see that like they were so, just going at it like they were just out in the fucking wild west just like yeah 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 <laughs> so, um no St. Paul <laughs> <laughs> um shit I think I I think an eight is right on the money. I think it's, of course, it's rewatchable. Oh yeah, shit right. should be played in every fucking class in America. You said that about uh, <laughs> America. American skin, which is know? crazy because I got really terrible reviews. I know. Um, oh really? Okay. Yeah. No, yeah, I give good. it. I give it a solid eight. Where we at, Matt? Uh, I gave it a seven and a half. Hmm. Uh, one more thing. Just, I'm my bad, bro. Okay, one more okay, thing. Okay. This fucking I don't like this. It may be controversial. I don't like this Black History Month shit. I mean, we can get on. It's a whole other thing, like, but yeah. Yeah. I, I'm just, I, you I, just ran it to be regular just, history, right? I know yeah, where you had it. Yeah, man. you shouldn't. Yeah, that's and the thing. shortest month. That, <laughs> I'm, I'm not even into the whole shortest month. No, I'm saying thing. like get, just to add just, to it. It like, should just be regular history, right? Yeah, and what you're saying. I feel like I agree with you on that. We learn a lot more shit from our history out of school i don't like that shit we learn more about everything well out of yeah school, but bro. after yeah. six they seem to they seem I'm to focus on more of the you know other people well you can you saying. control what you teach your kids you know what i'm saying so mm-hmm. you can get wrapped up in the black history i've, month, been, I've always said it. i don't think i've learned i don't think i've used like a single thing i've learned after sixth grade outside of school it's funny because yeah you, you're almost like super true about that like after sixth grade it's like you, you learn, learn all the basic, really basic stuff that you need, mm-hmm. and the then math after that, that, it's mm-hmm. it's yeah, it's a little bit of the they gotta fine tune you for you society. You gotta read books and do reports on them. You aren't really learning much there. You just mm-hmm. kind of fine tuning. Yeah, there should be a class on Black History. A class. What, what the fuck do we it need? It should be more college like. That's basically mm-hmm. what you're saying. Like, yeah, you like, should have like it should be regular college like and, and more uh, daily life stuff. It yeah, should, exactly. it should be a, a bigger p- part of American. It should be, be a way bigger spotlight on. But when they ca- got movies like this coming well, out, it's it's becoming that, history. You know, yeah, speaking so. on Black History Month, that's the thing though. That's the only time we ever learn about any of this stuff in school. Is February? Yeah. They do it. Other than that, it's. Uh, you think the real it's important for white kids to know this shit, probably more so than black kids. Black kids is getting this shit, so you got, yeah. And exactly. some of them aren't even getting some of it. Like some I, of them I, aren't. I'm loose on it, and I'm glad that I watched. But that's it. because you, I believe, because you're African, so you got a whole different heritage and history. Yeah, I don't have a family you know I mean? that that lived in the space where it was actively going on. Mm-hmm. Right, you right. got a whole different. You got African history right. that you that you're partaking in. You right, right. This is American, African American history. So. Right. Yeah. It's not as on the forefront of y- your appearance, you know. Right, that's just true. You gave it a 7.5? I gave it a 7.5, just based on, you know, you said you think 8 is a classic, 8 and above is a classic. I see what you're I don't saying. know if it's necessarily a classic. I thought it was really, really good. Gotcha. I follow you. So I, I said, mine's is a soft 8. So. Yeah, I was going to say, I think, it's, I think it's, it's watchable. It's something that everybody should see. It's definitely something to go watch. It's just, I don't know if it's up in that classic category, but it's, no, it's really good, though. Eight is good, but I want to say eight point five, just because. 
I was uh, enthralled watching it, I think. Enthralled? Yeah. Like. Big word alert. <laughs> 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 We're done with uh, Malcolm and Marie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're done with Malcolm and Marie. Yeah. Fucking T.I. over here. It's a regular T.I., this guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it really pulled me in when I was watching it. And um, that's a really good, um, good sign. Like, sometimes you can watch a good movie, but it takes a little while to, like, get into the movie. When I turned this on, like, I was in. Yeah. So, like, I was mm-hmm. like. Okay, good. That's a good grab. And then, like, the character, like, right away got to me. I was like, mm-hmm. this character is dope. And then I started learning more about him. Like, yo, I really like this guy. Like, this guy is dope. Like, I like his movement. I like his style. I like what he's trying to do. I like the energy. Like, I just like that. And then, like, you get the opposition. which when The inside guy, which you get the Judas. And it was it's needed. A, yeah, it's needed. It's unfortunate that you know you you you, create, you can buy yeah. people to do like really dude nefarious was a kid stuff too, though. the dude was a young kid he was too. 17 yeah oh wow he was yeah, really the, they, young. they didn't do a good job yeah, i shouldn't like say they didn't do a good job it's because the actors in the movie are 30 so they're not going to look 17 but so he, he was a kid I think they tried to he say was, he was like 21 in the movie I think. no uh um hampton was 21 o'neill was 17 in the movie did they say that I don't know if they said that, but they during said. this, at, during that year, that's what their ages were. That's that's incredible. Um, uh, that's incredible that. Um, I think they made a point not to say that because they didn't look like they were twenty-one. Right, yeah, that I didn't know he was that fucking young. Yeah, that's really young. That's yeah. incredible that. Um, yeah, that they would they would get to a kid. Of course. To do it, I mean, I mean so he was facing kids. five years yeah. in jail. Yeah, right so now. easy, the, and the only way around. The only way, like, to get around maybe that type of recruitment is, like, training a child super early what and what not to do for money's sake. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then taking care of that kid's, like, needs and wants so, like, they don't Damn. have to reach Community outside. Community is so broken, though. It's just you can't. It's tough. No, could, no way to get. It's just no way. You know how, like, Pac was raised, like, with the black. He was raised, like, under the black. Speaking of Black Panther, he's raised under the Black Panther style. Like, I don't think, like, a kid raised th- th- in that way would have like done something nah. financially f- to break something like that like nah. if you raise I mean, it wasn't kid. just financially though like i said he was facing five years that's true that's true that's true i think I, so it, you're they right hung some shit over his head and they tried being to act 17 like was, right oh, scare that'll Marvel, scare the shit you know? out of you yeah being 17. but you honestly yeah. could have you know anyway the family structure like going to your you should go to the fam and maybe they help you out i mean it's an organization they could have bailed you they could have maybe gave you lawyers this is the thing about building a community and like having resources in order to use u- utilize that out on the outside like even if people get in trouble like that would be the move but anyway yeah but i don't think a regular nigga's gonna think like that though. i know They're just i'm talking think, about these yeah. are coming from like the fathers there's a to bunch the of goofy children. ass niggas out here running around you can get you can easily get a goofy nigga and, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. And, yeah. I, I also appreciate how this movie didn't um it didn't make me wait to it didn't make me like think about him dying. It gave yes, me that gave was, me that was bothering me the whole movie. It gave me enough to yeah, like forget that he was gonna die. Yeah. So I, I like I learn, like that. Yeah, learned. You I, did, learn I didn't I didn't I enough to forget about that. I didn't look forward to him dying. Yeah, at the he end looked, of the movie. Yeah, he looked forward okay. to like learning yeah. about the dude. Like, yeah. I thought that that's what that's what I was thinking too because I you had mentioned that he that he died, but it was really cool to kind of see like his moves and um, and that energy that. The vibrancy. He, he just... And, the you know, Daniel just did a really good job with it. Like... He did a good job. He said he had a lot of stress. Like, he had to do a lot of self-reflecting. And after, like... It's deep, yeah. If you could watch a couple of his interviews, he, he's actually going through some shit right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can tell, like, him getting that character off just... Mm-hmm. Really Got that Denzel effect acting. from training. No, this this guy, Daniel, Daniel... Daniel is... Um, He's going to... It's the next John Boyega, huh? No, <laughs> <she's> like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, no, no, she's not. John good. Boyega's dope, too, but um, this guy... I don't know, this oh, guy is good. to watch, though, for real. We'll see. Obviously, Lakeith Stanfield is strong. These he's should open up some roles for them, so we'll, yeah, see. Absolutely. we'll see what they get into. Oh, but no, I actually thought... I was thinking Jordan Peele might have had something to do with this film when so I saw both of the guys from Get Out were in it. Hey, you got like, your phone? Weird. So, calculate this for me. You got your phone. Right, you got a calculator right here, man. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and pull it up. I need a... We got a we got an eight and an eight plus a seven point five plus an eight point five plus an eight. So eight point. Why is it giving him? Wait, it's an eight point eight right there. Oh, cause I hit. Wait, what? Oh, you have no, maybe numlocks not on. Yeah. Oh, just just do it with the key, bro. Come on. 
I'm sick of the show. God damn. <laughs> eight, eight plus. It's going to be 8.8. Eight eight. Yeah, there you go. 8 plus 8.5 plus 7.5. You then divide by 4. That didn't work. Yeah, that, that wouldn't be right. The median would be like. Maybe like. There eight. you go. Oh, 8. Yeah, yeah, divide divide by, by 4 is 8. That's what it is. So we give it a 8. Yeah. It's the highest rated movie of the year. If you don't know about Fred Hampton, get up on your shit right now. Black Panther Party chairman. Illinois chapter, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And uh, rest in peace. I L. Yeah, rest in peace. A revolutionary. Revolutionary. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I rock with this uh, 100%. And uh, you guys need to see that. So, that's what we got. That's what our takes are on these movies. If you guys got any movies or requests you want us to eat some old ones, throw them in my, DM, my DMs, message us in the comments, figure out how to contact us, and we'll, we'll get at some things for you. But other than that, Mom's that's... probably in your DMs already. You can just Yeah, because we forgot to touch on that. Moan's already in the DM, so just you can get back. at him, too. Like right, so. reply back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch is leaving me on red, too. I'm too good for that. <laughs> It's just annoying as fuck. But anywho, that's all we got for you today. I'm Shinobi Gaines. These guys are pros. You thinking what I'm thinking. Aim for the bushes. All right, we out of here.